Hey boys, looks like our boy Tristan Lee has remained with the carnivores. And uh, you know those Midwestern ranchers uh, certainly have expensive tastes, uh, especially for their marble line saunas and uh, their daughters want to escape the Ram Ranch nonsense. So they got to pay for their expensive European vacation so they can uh, drop it for uh, Mr. Giganto over there. Uh, so we're taking a look at uh, Tristan Lee's diet, and if you guys missed it, I think we did a critique video of him maybe around a year ago where he was eating carnivore, and uh, it seems like he's still sticking to that. We'll see. Uh, you know, these kids that used like drugs when they were younger, like performance-enhancing stuff, steroids, uh, which to my knowledge he is one of, always seem to have baby faces. I'm curious if that has to do with you know, their soft tissue developing in their muscles as opposed to their face in their later teenage years. Today, we're running through a full day of eating. Previously, we did a video where we went through a full grocery haul, but we didn't really break down the calories, the macros, and all that stuff surrounding that you really care about. So today, I figured we could go in depth into a full day. Instead of extending this and putting the rest of the day within the video like more of a vlog, I thought I'd condense this down and try to do it as fast as possible. Tyler sounds like he's about to cough behind the camera. Are you good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, before we even get into the video, I wanna say that all of the calories, macros, all that stuff is very specific to me. It's something that I've kind of played with and figured out over the years. So go try for yourself, see what works for you. Don't just listen to me as the one reason. And it's kind of unusual to be talking about calories and macronutrients if you understand the context and benefits of a high protein diet like this. And if you guys are more curious about that, I did do a video explaining why calories in, calories out is not correct. Resource. There's so many resources. We're gonna jump right into it. I'm not gonna waste too much of your guys' time. We're gonna cook this up, lay out all the meals. You guys can see the calories, the macros, and how I eat on a daily basis. Let's do it. So this is meal number one. We have five eggs, 150 grams of this wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. I love using this just because it's really easy to cook up. Plus you can get the massive bags from Costco here. So it's pretty cost effective. This is generally like a breakfast meal because it's super easy to do. Anything that's a little bit more complicated to make or takes a little bit more time, we'll just do it when have more energy. I'm not a massive condiments guy just because I find that it adds unnecessary calories. But when I do, that sounds like an ad. I don't use condiments, but what I do, I use Tabasco. <laughs> Here we have just salt. You guys saw me salting the salmon as I was cooking it. And then I have mustard, hot sauce, Tabasco. Comment your favorite hot sauce below. Generally, I'll just take all the vitamins and minerals that I need in the morning so that later on in the day when I'm more tired, I don't forget about it. In the morning, I'll take three supplements with my meal. I take this pretty much with every one of my meals. It's just a digestive enzyme, so I find that helps with digestion. On top of that, I'll have zinc, vitamin D3, and K2. And then I'll have creatine. Now, creatine doesn't really matter when you take it. It's just a buildup over time in your system. So I just take it at the same time in the morning so that I don't forget about it later on in the day. Vitamin D3, K2 supplement, digestive. Digestive enzymes following carnivore. Ooh, sounds an awful lot like Frankie Tofano's YouTube channel, if you ask me. And this isn't the worst meal. Obviously, this is going to be a bit lighter on the criticism because he is carnivore. But salmon and really just any fish in general is so heavily polluted that I don't really like consuming it. Even something like wild Alaskan sockeye. You know, if you have caviar, it's one thing because it's very high in omega-3 and you don't have to consume a lot of it. And this is frozen Costco. It's it, The amount of omega-3 is not really necessary, especially every day. And I found, at least in my experience, that every single time I've eaten salmon, it's much harder on my liver and digestive system than any other protein source. So try it if you feel okay, but most people don't. And the eggs, even though they're, say, pasture-raised, from the supermarket, probably still getting corn and soy supplemented in their feed. High omega-6, not the best. Overall, I don't really like this meal for breakfast. You know, it's like the opposite of a standard American diet. So if the average person goes on this, they're going to replenish the nutrients they were deficient in, you know, over the course of a couple of months. But then they want to go back to balancing things out so they don't overdo certain things and become deficient in other things. And uh, why isn't he showing the other supplements he takes? The, uh, the stuff his uh, friends inject in his tushy. This sick son of a bitch killed a baby chicken. So meal number two, as you guys can see, there was a little bit of collateral damage here with the one fried egg. 
Comment down below if you guys like your eggs runny or overcooked. So here's meal number two. This would technically be like my post-workout meal. So here we have 2.9 ounces of sardines. Most people find these nasty as shit, but I actually don't mind them when I have a little bit of salt. I'll add a pretty hefty amount of salt to pretty much all my meals. I'm not really concerned about my sodium intake since I am training so frequently. And then we have 100 grams of shrimp with the one fried egg and six ounces of ribeye steak. I'm a little bit higher protein than I'd like to be. I think I'm gonna be around the 56, 57% mark. And really I'd rather be around the 63, 65%. 38.7 grams of fat 73 grams of protein as i said it is pretty high protein and then just a few trace carbs from like the egg and then some of the sardines and stuff which i'm not worried about as i said before one thing that i didn't mention that i take pretty much every day is uh omegas again i'll throw in the digestive enzyme just to make sure that i'm processing the food okay and i'm not having any digestive issues throughout the day so that's meal number two pretty simple again even before he showed that bottle of omega-3 i was gonna say he's really overdoing it by having fish in more than one meal per day and i have a video titled is omega-3 toxic where i kind of explain you know you need a small amount from a good high quality source like animal brains or caviar that's preferably raw and then you don't have to worry about it too much what he's doing you know having all of this fish heavily cooked not the highest quality is definitely not good I don't think this is good long term. The sardines in the can, you know, what kind of chemicals are in the can lining? What's the real quality of the fish? It's very, very heated and overcooked. The shrimp have a ton of chemical preservatives added to them, especially if they're commercial. They're not the wild. I really don't like shrimp regardless of where you're getting them from because of that chemical concern. And also their bottom feeders, the pollution tends to be high. They accumulate metals. And then he has the ribeye steak with the egg. I mean, I'm okay with the ribeye steak. I can't complain about that here. Uh, but the egg stuff relays back to the first meal and, and he doesn't have a good enough balance of like raw versus cooked food it's a very heavily heavily heated protein and you know when you follow this type of diet long term you're going to come up with digestive issues and liver issues very very quickly you know one of the reasons i lasted so long on carnivore myself was because i ate mostly raw like my steaks were just seared on the outside and i didn't consume like this type of fish, omega-3, heavily heated uh, stuff every day. Let's get to meal number three. Okay, so here we have the last meal of the day. This is a little bit of a bigger meal since usually at the end of the day, it's when I make up for whatever I didn't have earlier on in the day. So if I need a little bit more fats, I'll have a little bit more fats, or if I need a little bit more overall calories, I'll just have a bigger meal. Plus I have the night to digest the food. So I'm not too worried about having digestion issues for the rest of my day or feeling super lethargic. Since I'm only having three meals a day, generally speaking, my meals are larger. So if I go even further overboard, as far as my calories go in the middle of the day, the insulin spike it's even greater and then i'll have issues with a crash in the middle of my day which obviously i don't want so this is about four ounces of sockeye salmon and that's about 165 calories what i'll actually do is i'll add a little bit of stevia into the salmon and it makes it like a sweet taste and that just adds a little bit more flavor to whatever food that i'm having since i am never heard that one foods consistently the five ounces of the grass-fed ground beef 298 calories and then the three large eggs that's 255 calories for my last meal i'm totaling out at 713 calories 46.3 grams of fat and then 73.3 grams of protein this one i definitely make sure to have the digestive enzyme with it because i am going to be digesting a little bit more food plus i am going into a period where I'm going to be sleeping. So this meal usually happens around the 4.30 or 5 p.m. just because I like giving at least three, four, even up to five hours before I go to sleep. If I eat too close to when I go to bed, I find out I have disruptions. So he said he doesn't sleep well when he uh, gets close to bed, which is probably some histamine issues that he's already experiencing, you know, which again is typical if uh, you're following an improper carnivore diet. So with that last meal, the same problems we mentioned earlier, way too much omega-3 and overcooking the food too much. Now, I want to emphasize that undigested protein in your digestive tract is one of the worst macronutrients to have there. You know, it causes dysbiosis, it gives parasites, fungus, you know, their best fuel source. And the digestive enzyme that he's taking is not for protein. You know, we have the carnivore digestive enzyme on organ supplements, which is specifically for high protein and moderate fat digestion, but what he's taking is just overpriced garbage. Mine's actually lower priced than this for a higher quality supplement, way higher quality. You know, you have betaine HCL on this, cellulase, amylase, lactase, pectinase. Wow. The only thing 
in that digestive enzyme he's taking that would help him is a small amount of lipase. It goes to show you that he has absolutely zero clue what he's doing. He's taking a predominantly carbohydrate digestive enzyme while following the carnivore diet. It's literally doing nothing. Absolutely zero. Uh, I don't know if that's a fluke. I don't know if he's sponsored by this and just saying it. I, I really don't know. Maybe he hasn't watched enough of Frank Tefano's videos. So let me correct myself on that. Mine's actually a little bit more expensive, but it actually works. And, and the cost of this supplement to myself to make is probably three to four times as much as what that other company spent. So my profit margin is much lower and you're getting a way higher quality product. So if you guys are still carnivore, definitely try this out. And I'm sure uh, Tristan actually has a few of these in his cabinet if he is sponsored. And as we've said in past videos, you know, are these people lying? Are they actually following the diet? And in this case, if he is, you know, we've already seen glimpses of him having sleeping problems, which, I mean, I was carnivore for, oh man, five, six years until I started having the sleeping problem. So whatever he's doing is, is certainly accelerating the issue, whether it's the drugs he's taking or the high volume of food he's eating. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments, but thanks for joining me today. Uh, if you could please drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. Check out frank-defano.com for all of my businesses, including organ supplements.